Hi everyone, I'm Amy and I'm absolutely gutted that the camps aren't happening this summer. It was going to be my first year of working with Barracudas and I was so excited, as I'm sure many of you were, to get involved. But we're trying to bring you some things virtually. So I've got a few quizzes planned and hopefully you'll be able to join in and have some fun. I'll work through all the questions and then give you the answers at the end. So this is the quiz number one. There's a range of different rounds, five in total, each with 10 questions. So give it your best shot, pause if you need to have a bit more thinking time, and I hope that you have fun. Let's get started. Round one. So this round is going to include some famous landmarks from countries around the world. So you get one point for naming the landmark and you can get a bonus point if you name the city or the country that it's in. If you get the city and the country, great for you, but unfortunately I'm not going to be handing out any extra points for that. But try, so try guess the name and the city or the country that it is in. Okay. Number one, what is this landmark? And if you can, what country or city is it in? Number two, again, what is this landmark called? And what country or city is it in? Okay, what, moving on to number three. What is this landmark? And what country or city? Number four. What is this landmark called? And again, whereabouts in the world is it? Number five. Same thing, where is this and what is it? Moving on to number six. Where is this landmark and what is it? Remember, you can put the city or the country, they'll both get you a bonus point. And if you can get the name as well, brilliant, then you get two points. Number seven, what is this landmark and where is it? Bit of an obscure one this, but really cool history around it. Number eight, what is this called? Whereabouts in the world is it, city or country? And number nine. And last but not least, number 10. Okay, great work guys. That brings us to the end of round one. Feel free to pause now, check over your answers if you want or drag it back to repeat any of the questions that you didn't quite get first time. But otherwise, if you're ready to move on, keep playing and we'll move on to round two. So this is just a bit of a general knowledge round, basically a bit of everything, all random, and it's gonna be multiple choice, so you can write down the letter or what the answer is. Okay, starting with number one. What are you afraid of when you have arachnophobia? Is it A, pigs, B, spiders, C, heights, or D, dark places? Okay, number two. Where does the UK Prime Minister live? 12 Downing Street, B, 10 Downing Down Street, C, 10 Downing Street, 
or D, 100 Downing Street. If you don't know, give it a guess. You've got 25% chance of getting it right. Okay, number three. What is the name of the owner of Tesla? A. Eli Dusk B. Elon Musk C. Martin Evans or D. David Musk If you don't know, Tesla is a brand of electric cars. Okay, number four. Which country is the biggest in the world? This is by size, so area of the country rather than how many people live there. So think about the area and how big the country is. A, China, B, India, C, Brazil, or D, Russia. Number five. How many sides does an octagon have? Oh, sorry about the spelling mistake there. A, five, B, eight, C, nine, or D, seven. So an octagon. Okay, moving on to number six. What number does the Roman numeral V, I, I represent. Nearly said the answer there. Is it A, five, B, six, C, three, D, seven? So what number does the Roman numeral V, I, I represent? Okay. Number seven, what is the biggest animal in the ocean? Is it A, a blue whale, B, a great white shark, C, a killer whale, also known as an orca, or D, a sperm whale? They all sound pretty big and scary to me, to be honest. Okay, next question, number eight. What planet is closest to the sun? Is it A, Pluto, B, Saturn, C, Mars, or D, Mercury? Question number nine. Which city has the largest population on Earth? A, Tokyo. B, London, C, Mexico City, or D, Beijing? So largest population is the most people living there in the whole of Earth compared to all the other cities. If you don't know, just give it a guess. Okay, and final one for this round. Which of these countries is not an island? Is it Iceland, B, Madagascar, C, Spain, or D, New Zealand? Okay, that brings us to the end of that round. And moving on to round three. Again, if you found any of the other questions need of repeating, feel free to go back and look over them. Otherwise, carry on and we will be looking at flags of the world and you have to guess the country that the flag is from. Okay, number one. Which country does this flag belong to? Number two, again, which country does this flag belong to? Number three,
number four. Which flag is this? Number five. Number six. Which flag is this for the country of? Number seven. If you can't see the contrast there, it does have a white background and a red dot in the middle. Okay, number eight. Maybe think about where you might have seen that leaf in the middle of a flag before. Number nine. And last but not least, number 10. Okay, that is the end of that round as well. So, great work guys, we've done three rounds so far, two more to go, hang in there and then we'll get the results. So round four is all about logos and what does the company logo belong to so if you see a logo and you think you know what the company name is write it down and that is all you've got to do okay let's get started number one what company is this the logo for number two I'm hoping there are few will you will recognize this one. Number three. Think about what the animal is, if you can tell. Kind of gives the name away. Okay, number four. Number five. Moving on to number six. This company won't be having much business at the moment. What with us not being able to go abroad, if that's a bit of a clue at all. Okay, number seven. Number eight. Number nine. And finally, number 10. Okay, so we'll finish that round four there. Again, any worries about them, go back, check them over, see if you think you've got the right answer, and then get ready to move on to the final round. So this is a bit of a round with some sports questions. Again, this is multiple choice, so just write down the right answer that you think it is, or if not, take a guess, because you could be right. Okay, let's start. Number one. Which country has won the Football World Cup the most times? Is it A, Germany, B, France, C, Brazil, or D, Italy? Number two, 
In which city were the first Olympics held? A. Athens B. Tokyo C. Berlin or D. Chicago Number 3 How many feathers are used to make a shuttlecock? Is it A. 10 B. 24 C. 16 or D, 20. How many feathers make a shuttlecock? So that is what you use for a game of badminton. Okay, next question. What country does Novak Djokovic come from? A, Sudan, B, Serbia, C, Hungary, or D, Russia? Novak Djokovic is a very good tennis player. I'm sure you've heard of him, but in case you haven't, he's won a lot of competitions. Okay, number five. How long can you look for a lost ball in golf? Is it A, one hour, B, 30 minutes, C, 15 minutes, or D, five minutes? Number six, what African country was the first to ever qualify for a World Cup? A, South Africa, B, Egypt, C, Kenya, or D, Sudan? So I didn't specify here, this is for a football World Cup. Okay, number seven. How many minutes was the longest recorded point in the history of tennis? A, 11 minutes. B, 34 minutes. C, 29 minutes. Or D, 17 minutes. So this is how long were they hitting the ball back and forth for without one of them making a mistake? Okay, number eight. Who is the top scorer for England women's national football team? A. Kelly Smith B. Karen Bardsley C. Demi Stokes or D. Tony Duggan Number 9. What is Usain Bolt's 100 metre world record time? 9.07 seconds 9.58 seconds, 10.07 seconds, or 10.49 seconds. Whichever it is, they're all crazy fast. It's amazing. Okay, final question of the quiz, number 10. In American football, how many points do you score for a touchdown? Is it A, 1, B, 3? C, 6, or D, 10? So how many points do you score for a touchdown? Right, well, that concludes the quiz. Great work, everyone. Okay, so I just thought it would be a bit nicer to see my face for the answers, um, and we'll get started right away. For round one, the first question was the Eiffel Tower, which is in Paris, France. So if you got Eiffel Tower, give yourself a point, and if you got Paris or France, you get a point as well. Second question was the Statue of Liberty, which is in New York, in the United States of America. So again, one point for Statue of Liberty, one point for New York or USA, or just America. Number three was the London Eye, which is in London, as it says in the title, in the UK or England. I'll accept either. One point for London Eye, one point for UK, England or London. Number four is the Taj Mahal. It's a really impressive building. And this is in Agra, which is a city in India. Number five was the Christ the Redeemer. 
So this is in Rio de Janeiro, which is in Brazil. It was shown a lot during the Rio Olympics, actually. So you might recognise it from there. Number six was the Colosseum, which is in Rome in Italy. So remember, one point for Colosseum and one point for Rome or Italy. So this is where they used to do gladiator fighting in the Roman times. Okay, number seven was Stonehenge, which is in Wiltshire, England. So this is really quite a famous landmark of England, actually, because no one has any idea how the stones got to be in such weird positions. If you can't remember what it looks like, I would go look it up because it's pretty crazy. They're big stones. Number eight was the Sydney Opera House in Sydney, Australia. Number nine was the Big Ben, again in London, which is in the UK or England. So one point for Big Ben, one point for London or the UK or England. And number 10 was the Golden Gate Bridge in San, Fran San Francisco, which is in the United States of America or USA or America, any of them are fine. So I hope you got lots of points for that one. Good work, guys. I'll move on to the answers for round two, which was our general knowledge questions. So if you're an arachno if you have arachnophobia, you are scared of spiders, which was B. So if you've got option B or spiders, give yourself a big tick because you've got the it right. Okay. Number two, so the UK Prime Minister lives in 10 Downing Street, which was option C. Good work if you got that one as well. The name of the owner of Tesla is Elon Musk, option B. The biggest country in the world by area is Russia, option D. So China, India and Brazil are also really big and really populated, but nowhere near as big as Russia. Russia is massive. Okay, number five. An octagon has eight sides, which was option B. Again, great work if you got that right. No worries if not. Number six. So the Roman numeral VII, -I, that is seven, option D because the V is a five and the II is two. So it's five and two, so seven. Okay, number seven, the biggest animal in the ocean is the blue whale. That was option A. Apparently they're the length of two double-decker buses. So the big buses in London, so really big. Number eight, the planet that is closest to the sun is D, Mercury. Number nine, the largest populated city is Tokyo, which is in Japan. Really want to go there, looks like an awesome city. Which of the countries is not an island? It was C, Spain. Iceland, Madagascar and New Zealand are all islands. Right, so that concludes round two. Moving on to round three, which was the flags. Again, maybe tally up your answers, put it bigger circle out of ten, and then you can add it all up easily at the end. Hope you're doing good so far. So, the first flag was Germany. The second flag was Greece. Third flag was Argentina. Then... For number four, it was France. Number five, Ireland. Number six, Iran. Number seven was Japan. Number eight was Canada. And number nine was Kenya. And then finally, number ten was Israel. That was the one with a Star of David in the middle. That's the Jewish symbol, if you don't know. So that was the end of round three answers. Um, tally it all up again, and we'll move on to round four, the logos. 
So the first logo was the G for Google with red, yellow, green and blue in it. So that's the Google logo. Number two was McDonald's. I'm sure a lot of you recognise that one. That's a very well-known logo. Okay, number three was Puma. So it was actually a Puma that jump, that's like jumping and that is their symbol. So that's a sports company if you haven't heard of it before. Great work if you have and good job on getting the answer. Number four was TikTok. I'm pretty sure a lot of people would have seen that recently it has become massive during lockdown. Number five was Volkswagen, a brand of cars. Number six, Ryanair. So that was the angel with lines between the wings and the feet. So I was saying they won't have much business because they're a plane company, so they won't be able to fly many people at the moment. Number seven is Formula One or F1. Eight was Audi, where I'm sure a lot of people do their weekly shops. Nine, DreamWorks, do some great animations. And 10 was PlayStation. Okay, last round on sport. Round five, okay, you ready? Number one. The country that has won the most Football World Cups is Brazil. They've won it five times, I think, so quite a lot. Number two. The first Olympics was held in Athens, which is option A. Sorry, I didn't say for number one. Brazil is option C. And then number two, option A, Athens. Number three. You use 16 feathers to make a shuttlecock which is option C. Great job if you got that. Quite a random one, I didn't know that before. So Novak Djokovic came from B, Serbia. You can look for a golf ball that you've lost for only five minutes, which was option D. I thought it would be longer than that. The first ever country from Africa to qualify for Football World Cup was option B, Egypt. And the longest point of tennis was C, 29 minutes. It's a really long time to be playing a rally. I couldn't keep that up. The top scorer for England's women football team is A, Kelly Smith. Usain's 100 meter time is B, 9.58 seconds. So fast, I can't believe it. And final question, final answer, the points for a touchdown in American football is C, six points. Add up all your answers. Because the first round you could get two points for the place and location, it will be out of 60. So see how you did. I hope you've all had good fun taking part and learning some new things. I will see you all later. Have a good time. Bye.